Alright, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck? Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community. <laughs> Just rubbing it in a little, sitting in the pool. See? It's a nice little ledge here for sitting on. Uh, yeah, pools are nice. Should fix my hair though. I got pool hair. But anyway, uh, so yeah, we'll get on with the show <laughs> presently. Uh, but Stickham was really good last night. I mean, not the best evening, but it was pretty good. Um, lots of, uh, you know, hard philosophy in the beginning. Um, Pyro was in there for a while and we, uh, we argued, but we didn't, we got along okay. So that was good. He was in kind of a good mood. He always thinks it's my mood. <laughs> That's the problem. But sometimes he's in a pretty shitty mood. And, uh, you know, then his commentary gets kind of, um, snarky. And, uh, you know, that's where things kind of go wrong for us. But uh, he was in a pretty good mood. I was in a pretty good mood. So we were able to communicate without big arguments. Sorry, awkward moment. <laughs> People walking in the woods. How dare they walk in my woods? <laughs> Distracting me. Um, so yeah, that was some good subjects last night. Uh, we ended on kind of a, uh, well, you know, I hope no feelings were hurt, <laughs> but it was kind of a heated discussion on the uh, Pat Condell thing and the burqa. And uh, I didn't realize I was as passionate about it as I ended up being, because it really pissed me off um, when you know people ragging about the fact that we might declare a burqa an obscenity to civilization. <laughs> and say, uh, yeah, keep that in your living room, bitch. Um, we don't do that in civilization. Uh, we don't force women to wear tents, uh, you know, even if it's not a requirement. Uh, we don't even like you to socially pressure a woman to wear a tent. Um, it's, uh, uh, obscenity is a good word, because that's sort of the comparison I was making. We don't let people walk around, you know, women with bare breasts, so uh, why should women walk around in a, and a symbol of oppression. Uh, no, fuck that shit. So, uh, you know, uh, I, was I was kind of surprised. I mean, Nuclear Knight is, you know, she's a feminist, she's a communist, she has a lot of things. So she has a hard time in life. Um, and she was, I don't think we really fundamentally disagree, you know, to any great extent. Um, but, you know, she's just a little too you know, she takes, it, takes the rhetoric one step too far and uh, you can't really have a conversation that way. Um, geez, people interrupting me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you, you know, so, you know, it was a little heated, the conversation. Uh, me and Karina seemed to be on the same side and, uh, but anyway, that whole thing with the Pat Condell thing, I think people were just like, the, the one guy, the panda guy, felt bad. I finally kicked him. Because he just kept calling everything racism. You know, I've heard that a lot. You know, Pat Condell's a racist. No, he's a culturalist. I mean, he's, he's, he's not bigoted for no reason. He's judging people by the content of their character, judging them to be motherfucking assholes, and saying, fuck the asshole. Uh, you're allowed to do that. Martin Luther King would embrace that. Uh, he's not judging them just because they're Muslim. No, he's judging them because they have crude, cruel, stupid policy, and they expect the rest of the world to bow to it. So, fuck that. Uh, fuck you, you Muslim fanatic bastards. Keep your bullshit in your fucking houses. You know, uh, suicide bomb each other in your own fucking houses. Do whatever the fuck you want in your own fucking houses. But when you drag it into our public society, it's just as offensive as me sticking my dick out and whapping you in the side of the head with it. So get real. Civilization has a right and a responsibility to itself, to the people that are a part of it, uh, you know, to uh, require people uh, in the public realm uh, to conform to some standards. That's just what, that's just the nature of civilization, you fuckers. Uh, so anyway, that was kind of a speech again. See, I'm, like I said, I got more of an attitude about the subject than I thought I did. Uh, it just irks me uh, for a lot of reasons. It's not just the 
the feminism issue. It's, it's just that whole idea that, uh, you know, we have some obligation to respect religion. No, there's no such obligation. Fuck religion. Uh, okay, that's enough of that. So, yeah, it was just a, it was a good night, though. We did a little part where we talk about movies or some kind of bullshit. But most of the night was pretty good philosophy talk. And uh, it went okay. Oh, joggers now. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so, let's see, what else can I bring up here? Oh, yeah, the blog TV thing during the day. Yeah, I'm, if I'm missing something in Stickham, sorry about that. I mean, Paul's ego was there. Oh, yeah, with a couple of new women's, well, at least one new woman of note. Uh, Mungo Matoya or something. She didn't have a mic, but uh, she had a good look. So, and Juliet showed up for a little while, smiled at me. So that charmed me. You know, it's the little things they say in life, you know. It's those little things that are kind of important. Um, all right, the blog TV during the day. You know, this, uh, whatever he's called, Apocalypse Guy. Uh, Andromeda's Butthole, whatever his name is. Uh, this, it's a little British collective, you know, that guy and DPG Jones or whatever his hell name is. And uh, I guess they're connected with Thunderfoot too. I guess he's the fearless leader. And, uh, you know, they got some sort of reason response squad or something. League of Reason. <laughs> uh, Karina's actually part of it, but I just ignore that part. <laughs> but anyway, um, they're kind of lame atheists. Uh, you know, this stupid Andromeda guy gave a whole hour to this religious nut just to spout his religion's harmless kind of bullshit rhetoric. It's just a fun philosophy and blah, 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 blah. And uh, he called himself basically a pantheist. Um, you know, talked about how he wanted to have a, a wife and kids and settle down with his little traditional picket fence, you know, and uh, tell his kids about Santa Claus and shit, uh, presumably. Um, you know, I'm sick of these lame atheists. You know, they're they're all get all gooey about nature, like you know, nature somehow. Wow, it's so spectacular. I mean, they're like the mountain climber syndrome, or the jump out of the airplane syndrome, or the you know, this whole we're supposed to be so impressed by how magnificent nature is. Nah, you know, the fact that our psychology is capable of being moved by things is just a fact of our existence. I mean, if you're not going to get horny about this, you end up getting horny about that. I mean, there's something that'll appeal to your subjective taste, and you'll find it mystical and magical, and you'll have some kind of deep little feeling, but that doesn't, doesn't mean shit. It's just a fucking feeling. It's just the how psychology works. And, uh, you know, they get, they look at a couple of little pictures of little star clusters or something and get all, oh, isn't the universe magnificent? And blah, 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 blah. And it's just, I always hated that about Carl Sagan. I thought what he did was really good and that he got people off the subject of me, you know, the selfish crap, and got them to focus on a whole world, you know, people in it, you know, that life has consequences. So all that was really good. But it was so sappy, it was so sugar-coated um, uh, rendition of reality. Uh, and I hate that we have to sugar-coat the goddamn truth uh, to get people to appreciate it. But anyway, so I, I really, kind of really want to just pick a fight with those guys. So we'll see how it goes. Um, see if I can get them to talk about something real, like what life means, not uh, you know, what, what the consequence of being four billion years of evolution. Um, you know, uh, you know, this is basically a reproducing and consuming uh, a machine. And whether they take that as being a serious fact of our existence, as, as a meaningful fact. So anyway, get to that later. So maybe I'll add a little bit when I'm back. And uh, it won't be the walking stuff. Boy, the sun is really not doing me any favors here. I should do this in the dark. <laughs> but anyway. So till uh, whatever, more or less video or the end, I don't know. It's either the end or there's more or there won't be. That isn't even coherent. Well, I am tired. You know, I was up all night. <laughs> you know, these, these what the fucks are tough after you've been up all night. So anyway, next time, I'm, I'm really going to go now. Maybe I'll step on a rock first or two and uh, move my way across the stream. And then I'll actually hit the button. But I'm probably short on time, so 